NVIDIA announced that they are getting into self-driving cars yesterday. Do you think that they can beat Tesla, Waymo, and other companies? Well, I think first, this isn't necessarily a zero-sum game. I don't think that NVIDIA is trying to knock out Tesla or knock out Waymo. Uh, I think that they understand, just like everybody, that self-driving is going to be the standard. Self-driving cars are safer, and they are ultimately going to be cheaper. And so that means it's going to be a better experience, not only for the people who ride in the cars, but also for the economy, for society. Having these on the road mean that there's going to be less people dying, and it means that your city is going to be safer. And so anytime that you have a better experience, especially when it's safer and cheaper, that means it's going to win. And I think that my young kids are never going to be taught how to drive because ultimately self-driving cars are going to become the standard. Now, NVIDIA, they're the undisputed king of AI. Jensen is the godfather of artificial intelligence, and that company controls their own destiny. And so you got to look at it from their perspective is they want to be in this game. They understand that it's important, but how are you going to play? There's strategy involved. And so ultimately what NVIDIA is saying here is that they're going to partner with somebody and they're going to get 100,000 robo taxis starting in 2027. Now, if you go back, what wasn't said yesterday is Uber and NVIDIA actually announced a partnership back in October to deploy those 100,000 robo taxis starting in 2027. So I don't know if something happened to that partnership or if NVIDIA is trying to create some sort of like bidding war, but NVIDIA is saying that they are going to partner not do this themselves. They're going to partner. They're basically going to be the technology provider. They're going to say, we're really good at making chips and artificial intelligence. So we're going to bring this into the market. Now, how big of an opportunity does NVIDIA think this is? Well, they think it's a really big opportunity. Jensen yesterday said that 7,000 employees are working on the autonomous vehicle team inside of NVIDIA. Ben Bajaran, somebody I've known for a long time. I think he's one of the top analysts in the world. He thinks that that's about 20% of all NVIDIA employees. So think about this. One out of every five employees at NVIDIA are supposedly working on self-driving car technology. That's how big of an opportunity they think it is. And then Elon Musk, obviously somebody who has really pushed the pace in terms of uh, self-driving cars with Tesla and seeing that as the future, he actually tweeted yesterday and said that he wants them to succeed. Elon understands that having more competition ultimately leads to more innovation. More innovation leads to a better experience for the end user. And that is good not only for Elon's companies, but it's good for the market in general. And so seeing NVIDIA say that they want to participate here, I think it's a great idea. I think that they will be successful. And I think a partnership approach is a much better thing for them to do versus trying to go compete head on. And so now it's a jump ball. Who is going to win this? We know that Tesla and Waymo, they're locked in a competition. Uber's knocking on the door. NVIDIA's coming in, kind of arming all of these companies with the technology. This is what capitalism is all about. This is what competition is all about. And my guess is that within a couple of years, you're going to see more self-driving cars than human-driven cars on the streets in America. Hopefully you found that valuable. I try my best to keep you informed of what's going on in financial markets and in the stock market. So make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel.